Craig is welcome to leave because Vinny and I are going to talk about the New Japan Strong tapings in Seattle. One of us put in a request for a ticket like two months ago and uh, was never followed up on. Why didn't you remind me last week? I don't know. Wow. What a guilt trip. Yeah. None of the seats were numbered. What? Yeah, so just like you went in and sat down somewhere. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard. I would have sat down then. Four hours is a long time to be on my feet. Oh, yeah. It was I wish it, concerts worked like that. Long, yes, but long and great. It was great. Something I've heard many times oh, in my life Brian. Oh, about this show or that. You know, I've seen a lot of people come back from neck injuries, and uh, most of them kind of adjust their style to land on their neck less. Not Trent. No. Uh, you know, do a German suplex, he's going to land on his neck. One match in, I already loved it more than Dynamite because I thought Dynamite sucked. Oh, wow. It oh. was better than Oh, that's right. You and Dynamite. I were talking about, yes, and uh, how yeah, we were angry chastised. people were with you. Yes. You Absolutely especially. Absolutely chastised. No one came to harass bad. me. Of course they don't come to harass you. They come to harass me. Because I'm a nice person. No, it's not that, Vinny. It's that I am the alpha on this particular show. Oh, but it, it Whereas if like... we were doing Observer Radio, I would be the beta. And so, therefore, no matter what is said on the show, everyone goes after Dave if it's said on Observer Radio. The good news is Luchasaurus got the hot tag, and this crowd loves dinosaurs. Well, they didn't have much to cheer for on Dynamite, so, uh, you know. Good show. Very good show. Now I cannot get yelled at by, uh, by a certain segment and only get yelled at by the other segment today. I believe I'm pronouncing this right. It's Matt Raywalt. God, this guy. The former Aiden English. You look at a, a show and it's like Brody King. His opponent here. JP, Clark Connors, Rocky Romero, Leo Rush, El Phantasmo, and Matt Raywalt. Yeah. He's changed his last name. Fast. Sex appeal, of course, is a huge part of being a pro wrestler. And uh, based on my wife's reaction, Carl Fredericks has a lot of sex appeal. I asked my wife if I should get tattoos like Carl, and she said, no, it wouldn't help. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> a very, very long, but very, very awesome NJPW show. I can show. just see people watching this and going, I don't know what these two were raving about. It was good. It wasn't that good. Listen to me. It was that good. Andrew Windolph wants to know, does your computer beep when it turns off? What's going on over there? My computer's restarting. It always makes that noise when it restarts? You just, you, you, computers don't do that? No. Who is the most famous non-wrestling person any of you have ever met? I met Okada okay. on the street in New York. Uh, I was, it was Louisiana, and I was with you. Oh, Louisiana? Oh, wherever yeah. it was. And it was WrestleMania weekend. Well, there's that. There was a lot of wrestling fans there. <laughs> we think me and Craig were just wandering around New Orleans like... <laughs> Hey, you want to go on a trip to New Orleans, Craig? Yeah, we'll go do a little drinking. <laughs> like you see any yeah. two go guys, to some strip clubs. Any two guys do a boys' trip weekend to New Orleans. It's, it's Craig and Brian. Yeah. yeah. Bischoff comes out in a checkered skirt. Came out in a checkered skirt, you say. Star code. And they, I, they said something about Miss <laughs> Elizabeth. I don't know what that was all about. But. Okay, Roddy Piper versus Hulk Hogan. I thought it was Bischoff. <laughs> Piper wins with a... Limp arm chokehold on oh, uh, <laughs> a oh, limp man. arm chokehold. Well, they choked him until his arm was limp. Oh, I got it. Okay, arm. okay, all right, all right. Okay, I think I got an eight. The new girl, Alaha, A L L A H A. It's her first time out there, and she wants to beat Natalie really bad. Natalie is in the back saying, "I am going to get." In the world, uh, book of Guinness, it just the thing. Janice? <laughs> what just happened? Book of Guinness. It starts beating on a lot before the bell rings. Just keeps beating on her, beating on her. So, uh, the ref tries to stop the fight, but, uh, Elaha says no, and she spins her around for the win. Filling in for the usual crew is Gorilla Monsoon. Bobby the Brain Heenan. And the greatest announcer in the history of this or any other sport, Rob Bartlett as Vince McMahon. <laughs> oh, you've turned a corner on this guy finally. And not Vince just starts to mumble in Vince Cadence. Unbelievable. Were we supposed to think that he is a very hairy, naked man? And he needs to shave his pubes. <laughs> Fair. I mean, that's supposed to be hair, right? I think that's what I'm asking. Like, the stuff on his shoulders is undoubtedly supposed to be hair. 
Yeah. So the thing on his waist, that's not a loincloth. No, that, that's that's his He's, bush. His pubes extend down his legs. And not the inside, the outside. And his forearms, too. Not, not his palms, thank goodness. Just his forearms, but... Of course his palms are not hairy, Vinny. He <laughs> can't even find that thing. I love dick jokes. A.W. did a .44 in 1849 which means that they, in fact, beat Monday Night Raw, which did a .43. Raw had uh, what was thought to be very, very strong competition on Monday. It didn't do an all-time record low. It actually didn't do too bad. It did 1.6 million viewers. One of, my, one of my troll buddies there texted me and said, how about that Raw rating? Because it wasn't the all-time record low. Uh-huh. And I said, if Dynamite wins the 18-49 to this week, are you going to blame football? And to their credit, they said yes. John Mossy comes out for a promo here on the West Coast. The Heckler and Moxie's rebuttal were edited out, so I can't give you details on that. You know, I'm not going to sit here and give a speech about drinking, especially me, because I just had a Christmas show. It is amazing if you look at uh, John Moxley in uh, early uh, October, and then you look at John Moxley after he got back from rehab. This alcohol shit fucks you up. Yeah, that's not good for you. Is it possible that Moxley is a vampire? Because uh, he looks 10 years younger, and he said he's no longer drinking alcohol. He is now drinking blood. Well, I suppose you take it literally. Yeah, wasn't that the gimmick? Like, if you're a vampire, you you drink the blood to remain young. This could be the beginning of something. Or, Brian, it could not be. Well, we'll just wait and see, Vinny. <laughs> we'll let us see how it how plays out. How do you know out? he's not going to be a vampire? I'm pretty confident. He says, Wardlow, it is your birthday today. You've been a loyal employee. You've been a good friend, and I am sorry. But you put your hands on me. And so, to set an example, I must dock your pay. I'm one guy, but uh, I am I am so much more in MGF versus Warlow than MGF versus CM Punk right now. And uh, that did not change here on this show. This all felt like so much overkill. This is so many big moves for just a random opener on Dynamite. It wasn't the blow-off match. We all knew it. This was more like a WWE crowd than an AEW crowd. It started when we had a shithead in the crowd. The heckler. You get a lot more hecklers in a WWE crowd than an AEW crowd. Cody Rhodes did a promo. Oh, did he ever. He certainly did. There's no doubt about that, and there's no doubt it was a Cody Rhodes rambling fever dream of a promo. I liked, I would say, 80% of his lines. I did not like 20% of them. Uh, Maybe I'm old, but uh, why won't I turn heel? Why won't I turn heel? My real-life friend. My real-life friend. this 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 is too much. If you want to talk about not the contract I wanted, that was a great line. That was a fabulous. You want to talk about graduating hip toss class? That's a great line. There were a lot of great lines in here. He he stuffed a lot of great stuff into a a uh, a rather short promo. Quite frankly, this wasn't like a twenty minute promo. All right, they need to get Hook in these segments again. He needs to be in the background because he doesn't give a fuck with his crazy hair and his bag of chips on every show whether he's wrestling or not. I got to give Sting all the credit in the world because I ain't doing that shit. I'm only 46. But he he was looking pretty old in this match. And the idea that they were going to do some angle where, you know, Darby gets taken out and Sting is going to work one on two for like eight minutes against two guys. I would have done it the other way around. A fun ending to what was largely a skippable show. Name a player on the, uh, the Seahawks. Uh, Bobby Wagner. All right, name a player on the Cowboys. Uh, Dak Prescott. Could Bobby Wagner get a restraining order against Dax Prescott? We're like, you can't come within 50 feet of me. So if we're on the field together and I got that ball, you better not come and try and tackle me, motherfucker. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Well, that's what it works like that in wrestling. Men are made through patience and overcoming obstacles. We know you guys that uh, like to work hard. We want to play hard. One of them stands up and says, I want to go. And Wendy Chu says, he likes her. Like we're in second grade. I don't like her. Well, I mean, I like you, but I don't like you. I don't like you. Like, yeah, fuck. What are we doing? What am I doing with my life? And I'm watching this show. <laughs> Bro. They say, we got to do some of the Sarai woman. What can we do? We'll make her a Japanese schoolgirl. Imagine that you're doing a show where you're giving a guy the name of a literal Nazi, and it's not the most racist thing you do. When the thing about Walter and Gunther came out, everyone started, oh, I can't wait for B&B shows. Like, what do you want me to say? It's a terrible show. It's a terrible show every week. It's a terrible show made by terrible people for terrible people. 